I get this question all the time and honestly, I hate answering it, but I'm gonna do it for this video because I need to finally make a video on this, okay? So what do you do, Nick, when you have a ton of Facebook ads and you can only test two or three DCTs a week, but you have like 30 ads to test? Well, today I'm gonna answer that video or answer that question in today's video. And if you're questioning why I'm credible to be teaching these types of things, well, I've done over $50 million in online revenue for my clients. I run an e-com growth agency. And yeah, I also coach and mentor a few e-com brands on the side. So click the links below if you want more info on that. Have Nick Terrio run your ads or have Nick Terrio coach or mentor you. And before we get started, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let's dive into the video. So Nick, I have like 30 ads to test and you told me I can only tests, you know, two or three DCTs a week, which is like six to nine new creatives a week. Yes, Susan, I did say you that. So how do you go about that? Like, what do you do when you have 30 creatives? Okay. So first off, you know, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but I have seen that. I have some seen quite a few people say 20 to 30 creatives. And what this shows me is you have a lack of ability to prioritize. Okay. So your first objective here is, okay, if I have 30 creatives, let's just imagine, blow them all up and then boom, okay? All from me, like a bunch of puzzle pieces, okay? Your first objective here is to group. Okay, so what are the similarities between these 30, okay? All right, well, you know, these five all use this actor, okay? Maybe this five are all shot in this specific location, okay? Maybe this five all use the same hook, Ah, okay, now that's good, that's good, okay? Maybe this five right here all use this particular product, okay? So now you wanna start grouping them, okay? And, you know, just worry about grouping right now. Don't worry about how many are in the group, just try to find the, the patterns amongst your creatives and group them by pattern, okay? So then from there, what you wanna do is, okay, so let's say, for example, we have five particular creatives and we're grouped this by um, this particular actor, okay? This, this particular content creator created me five different videos today, okay? Now, that may not be the best grouping, to be honest with you, okay? Because remember, I wanna do, you know, buy ad concept. So actually, I would pull back for a second. I would look and, okay, well, maybe let's look for the same ad concepts, the five similar ad concepts, okay? Ah, okay. So here's our unboxing videos. Here is our testimonial videos. Here is our product photography shots. Here is our I don't know, reaction videos. So now that we have things grouped, what we can do is we can literally even open up a simple Google sheet, da da da, and then just start typing in the types of patterns we have, okay? Now the next thing is, let's say for example, you have an unboxing video, but you have five of them, okay? Out of these five, we wanna group, we wanna pick, like limit it down to three, okay? Out of these five, what are the three best, best ones, okay? The reality is, is that if you have 30 creatives, you're gonna find probably three to six winners out of these 30, okay? Three to six, that's it, all right? The average strike rate is about 20%, okay? So 20% of the ads you test will become winners, okay? You test 100 creatives, you'll find 20 that, that work, okay? So what we wanna do here is we wanna figure out out of these five, just give you guys an example of this specific pattern, which is unboxing. Out of these five for unboxing, which one do we think is the best, okay, and why? All right, well, this, you know, video four looks amazing, video three looks amazing, and video one looks amazing, okay? These three look amazing, okay? Let's prioritize these, or like, let's, let's just put these for this particular pattern, okay? So now, this particular concept, we'll, we're gonna switch over pattern to concept. This particular concept, we have our three videos picked out, or our three photos picked out, okay? Now let's go do that for all the others, da da da, okay? Now all of a sudden, now you've kind of broke it down into groups, groups of creatives, okay? And then now you kind of prioritize all those group, which ones you want to test because we have the highest confidence he's going to perform. Okay. Now you have probably about 10 different ad concepts or maybe five different ad concepts with three creatives for each. Now you went from like 30 to 15 creatives. Okay. Now from here, what you want to do is you want to prioritize these particular concepts by which ones you think will have the highest impact on performance. So if you're like, Hey, Nick, or, you know, if you look back, if you go look at history of this particular ad account and you see that an image just never worked well, well, we're going to put this image, image concept down. We're not going to not test it. We're just going to put it lower down the priority list. Okay. And then we're going to take these unboxing videos 
and we're gonna put them pretty high up because we know that when people unboxing they usually perform so we're gonna put those higher up now reaction videos uh maybe we have you know good hypothesis they'll perform again a lot of this is just based off your experience so you know average level marketers gonna have a little harder time with this whereas someone like me who's been in the ad accounts for a while and seen thousands of ads i might have a little bit more better of a knowledge and experience particularly doing this okay not to too on horn or anything like that it's just you know reality i've been in this game for a little bit longer i've seen a lot more ads okay so what i'll do is also prioritize these again I'm not saying which ones I'm not testing. I'm gonna test all the different concepts. I just wanna prioritize the order of which I'm gonna test these concepts by the one that's most likely to perform and least likely to perform. That way we can try to improve performance as quickly as possible. Okay, so that's it. From there, it's just following my testing plan. And if you go watch my YouTube video, Broad Targeting and Dynamic Creatives 2023, I show you step-by-step -step of how I test with DCTs and Broad Targeting and running all that stuff right there. So like there sh you know, should be no other questions around that. But that's how I test a shitload of creatives fairly quickly. Um, it's just, it's prioritization. That's the biggest thing there. Then from there, you know, after you do all these tests, you can start figuring out, okay, hey, this worked, this didn't. Now let's go get more like this and less like this. And now you're just improving your content you're getting back for your business. So yeah, guys, so this was qu quite a short video, but uh, hopefully this answers that question for you guys. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.